Hello, hope this finds you well. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, buying property in this heated markets that we're experiencing almost anywhere around the country. So some of you might be in a position where you're looking to buy and you're frustrated, uh, been looking for months and it's not working out for you. Some of you might be sitting back waiting for, for for Christmas and New Year to pass and then hopefully the market's slow and you, you give yourself a chance of, of getting something that you're after. So I wanted to give you a few tips today that might be able to help you through this period. So we know there are hot markets everywhere. Uh, it's not just one particular market around the country, which is the first time that I've seen this in my 20 plus years of investing. It's, it's, it's uh, quite an intimidating uh, place to be at the moment. So we need to think outside the box. We need to do what everyone else isn't prepared to do. Okay. So if you're engaging a buyer's agent, you want to be engaging a buyer's agent, I think, that looks across more than just one market. If you've got, say, 500000 600000 to spend, you want to be able to compare markets because if every market is quite hot, we want to be able to compare which ones are going to be the best fit for us because the yields are different, uh, the amount of buyers looking in those particular markets are different, there's so many variables. So you want a buyer's agent that can do that for you. Uh, we don't want to buy just for the sake of it. We may have been looking for one, two months, three months, in some cases six months. We don't want to just go and buy so that it gets that monkey off the back and we can move on with our life. We still want to be strategic because we need to be thinking how's our asset for the next 5, 10 years, 20, even 20 years uh, in, in, in advance. We've got a Christmas New Year coming up. It's round about, uh, at the time of videoing now, is about six weeks away, six, seven weeks. Okay. Most people put their tools down maybe a week before Christmas and say, look, I'm going to stop this uh, over the three-week uh, three period and then I'll resume my search after that. Don't do what everyone else is doing. Don't put the tools down. There's some good opportunities to be had through that time. You've got to be strategic in your thinking. So when everyone else is eating turkey, you're out there looking, okay? So that, that's one crucial part that's, that's given me some great opportunities over the, over the past few years, um, for sure, especially in these type of markets that we're experiencing. The type of property is key. Again, if we've got five or 600K, don't just go and buy any particular type of asset in the markets that we're looking, okay? I spoke to someone last week. Um, they came back to me 12 months later and said, John, I should have taken your advice. I should have bought a house instead of what I've got now. It's the difference of about $200,000. So that's a massive difference in, in such a short time, okay? Now, it might not be to that extreme, but we've got to think when the tide goes out, in 10 years, 12 years, 15 years time, how is my asset positioned, right? And that all comes back down to the location uh, and indeed the type of asset that we're actually buying. It's got to be right for your situation, number one, but don't just go out there and buy anything. So there we go. Hope that helps you. If you need anything uh, in relation to our buyer's agent service, just reach out. We've got a few spots remaining for the rest of the year. We can help you out.